Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Today I am playing Spin Tires again. It's been a little while since we played Spin Tires, but I thought why not? We'll give it another go and see how we get on with it. Um, I've decided that um, for the extra games that I play on this channel, I'm going to do... I'm, I'm going to have like a pattern for it. So I've, I've sort of been drifting around playing various different games and so on. Hang on, before we go any further, let's just... Uh, how do I... Where's the map? That's, that's... Oh, here we go. Um, no, it's not that one. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea that we could do that. That's brilliant. Oh, that's the diff lock. That's all wheel drive. Uh, there was a map somewhere. How, how did we get to the map? Um, you, you don't do it like that. I can't remember now. There, there was definitely a map. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's just go to controls and we can find out really quickly how we get to the uh, navigation map button one, keyboard, navigation map, F1. F1? Wow, I didn't see that coming. Right, here we go. Um, the navigation map, we want to get to. We've got a garage trailer that's stuck over here, but we're not too concerned about that one. We're following this road here. When we get onto the main road, uh, we can just follow that road all the way around and we can get to this point and then we can head off into the wire blue yonder So um, we'll just follow the road. We can we can just keep following the road as we are. So that's just fine Let's just do the horn again <laughs> Oh, that is brilliant. I am loving this game already um, I, I mean, I, I know that I've played it before but it's, it's good to get back into it and Someone I know personally had never seen this game before and he happened to watch one of my videos and seen it. He sent me a message um, and said, why didn't you tell me there was a game called Spin Tires? It's really cool. I said, you wait until you unlock a few machines. He said, I've been playing it for 48 hours. I've unlocked most of it now, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. And I, I can understand people wanting to do that. Uh, how do we get the diff lock on? There, diff lock on. We, we, we're going to need the diff lock to get through here. This is a fast flowing river. Um, let's, let's pull it round like this. It's the, the camera. I hate the camera. And so does everybody else. Everybody I know. Everybody, all the comments have all said that, that uh, everybody hates the camera. The camera is just the thing about this game that nobody likes. Um, go on, we can go a little bit further. Go on, go on, go on can do this you can do this go on you just gotta get yourself out of the river i'm gonna be stuck here hopelessly i know i'm moving forward i'm definitely moving forward let's just bring it round a little bit oh go on no you have to do this you have to do this we cannot stay stuck in the river i refuse to stay stuck in the river how do we so i really really do not like this um camera at all go on you, you, you're just creeping forward. I got the diff lock on. I got all the wheels on. I got everything. I don't. I mean, maybe we could use the um, the winch and try and get us out. But I think we can do this. Go on, yes. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Go, go on. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop the music. Keep going. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, we're, we're we're out of the water. We're moving. That's the important thing. We are moving forward. But it's going to be. A, we've still got all this mud. I'm going to get around the edge. Just around the edge, go on slightly. Go, keep moving. Don't stop now, please don't. No, don't tip over. Don't tip over. I'm begging you, please don't tip over. No, I can see. I can see this. It's it's leaning over. It's listing to the side really badly. Go. On. Oh, okay. It's not tipped over. We're okay. We're through. It's okay. We're through. Right. Oh. Oh. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm genuinely exhausted. Right. Um, are we going the right way? Oh, there's more water. Is that is that water up there? Um, let's press F1. Oh no, it's it's the road. It's okay. Right. So as I was saying, I'm I'm planning um you know, various different uh, games and stuff and uh, to do different things um with my other games. And at the moment, I'm gonna pl I'm planning a, a ongoing series with um. A car mechanic simulator. That one's pretty good. I'm really enjoying that one. Right, which is all, is all wheels off. I'm really enjoying car mechanic simulator. I got no plans to stop playing that one at the moment. This camera is awful. I 
hate camera. So does everybody else, as I keep saying. Um, I got no plans to stop playing Car Mechanic Simulator at the moment. I'm really enjoying that game. Saturdays is going to be the World of Warcraft day. That is something that is going to be going now. It's going to, it's kind of now going to be a permanent thing. I really like that game, so I've decided to add it as a permanent feature to the channel. Um, which leaves Thursdays, which is my other game. So did I say Monday? I think I meant Tuesday. Um, for Car Mechanic Simulator. But anyway, um, th Thursdays, the other game, I've kind of been drifting around a bit. I've done a couple episodes of Factorio. Um, but what I've decided to do is I will play a different game every Thursday and I will leave the, um, the game the following week up to everybody that watches. I won't play the same game twice in a row. So we've gotten to here. Do I want to go up round? No, I don't want to... Uh, oh, there's a load of water that we've got to get across there, isn't there? No, we come around the edge. I think we ignore that turn and we keep going. I think we go up this way. Right, so um, so this week as we're playing uh, Spin Tires, obviously Spin Tires for next Thursday is out of the question. So my weekly question for this week for the games, um, next week, do you want me to play Factorio? Do you want me to play Forza Horizons? Do you want me to play a new game called Don't Starve? Now, it's not a new game out, but it'll be new to me. Um, and basically, it's a, a, a very simple... The graphics are very simple, a very simple style, and basically you've got all sorts of things coming after you. It's a survival type game where you've got to stay alive, um, and most importantly, you can't starve. Um, clues in the title, then. Uh, oh, I've gone too far. Right. Um, another one is Big Farmer. It's kind of a factory. It's, well, it's a factory-based game. I did play it once before. Well, I played it a long time ago on the channel. Um, ages ago that I played it and the game is a lot of fun I really do enjoy playing that game I do play it a little bit sort of when I'm not playing um doing other stuff right have I gone if I backed up far enough am I going to be able to I uh, know I need to turn around we're going to have to back into that corner there so that we can turn around and go back and get these I'm determined to deliver logs today I've never delivered logs yet I've done this is the third episode of spin tires that I've done and we have not yet delivered any logs anywhere which is a bit poor, really. Um, so yeah, Big Farmer. Uh, basically, you uh, you have to research and manufacture various different drugs, and eventually you can. Um, well, once you you've researched them, you um, you start making them. You manufacture various different drugs. You sell them on the open market. Um, you've got all sorts of price variations and fluctuations, and you've got to try to beat the competition. So that is Big Farmer. Um, the final game is uh, Skyrim, and you all know what Skyrim is. I thought I would offer that one up as a, a one-off episode. You know, may maybe you'd like it, maybe you don't. I'm not sure. We will see. Uh, I think I need to go in here. Let's just bring the camera around a little bit right now. I want the diff lock. No, I don't want the diff lock. I want all wheels. So, yes, it's um, your games are Factorio, Forza Horizons, Don't Starve, Big Farmer, or Skyrim. It's your vote. Is your game? Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. And that's a lot of mud. I've got a big soft patch of mud right there and I've now gotten hopelessly stuck. So if I put the diff lock on and back out just a little bit. There we go. And we'll try that again. A little bit faster. See if we can get through. Okay, we've we've done that one okay. That one's come through. Let's just bring the camera. I really wish the camera was... I'm going to be complaining about the camera for the entire episode. Um, I'll warn you now. And uh, from the comments from previous episodes of this, everybody detests the camera. It's such a shame that this game was abandoned. It's like almost finished and then abandoned by the devs. Um, nobody seems to quite know why it was abandoned because this game has got so much potential and it could have had such a a much wider audience you, you know a few extra like missions and stuff like that it could have things could have changed on this game you, you could have ha added in all kinds of things that would have made it absolutely spectacular well beyond what it is now um hopefully someone will be able to take over uh, creative control of the project and really get things moving but we'll have to wait and see um Right, we want to... We can keep going like we are, I think. We should be okay. 
get on up this hill. And once we get to the top, we should be pretty close to the point where we can actually deliver the logs. Our first ever delivery of logs. Go on. Okay, we'll put the diff lock on. You should not do that. I put I engaged the diff lock whilst I was driving. That is a really bad thing to do. You completely grind the gears in the center of the axles if you do that. It's um it's not a good thing to do. I've I've yeah, it's um it's a reason that a lot of vehicles won't even allow you to engage diff lock unless you are stationary. Um because of the chance of doing so much damage to the vehicle. Now, it's getting towards night time. Someone did say to me somewhere, you can see the time down in the bottom corner, it's, just, it's half past eight. Someone said that there is a way to skip the night, and I can't remember what control they said to me. Let's just take a look at the map. Objective, zero of eight. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to find out in a minute how I can skip night, and then we will deliver these logs so that whilst we can see, well, we've got a bit of daylight. Okay, I found out how to skip the night. What you've got to do is you press F1 to bring up the map and then you can click on the clock down there. It is that simple. Um, and yes, I probably would have spent hours looking for that if I hadn't gone and looked it up. Because um, I thought it was clicking on the clock while you're in this mode, but no, it's not. So, there is our delivery point right over there. And we've got the diff lock off at the moment. Hopefully... We can make this delivery without any issues whatsoever. We've just got to get down through a huge, great big patch of mud. Of course we do. It wouldn't be spin tyres if we didn't have our tyres spinning. Why well, can't we just have one easy little bit? You know, just, just at the end. Just as a little reward for doing so, so well. Um, oh, this camera, this camera, this camera. Don't we just hate this camera? Right, um... I think what we're going to have to do is if we back up a little bit like that and then come up this way, we'll turn the diff lock on now and then start pounding it forwards. Let's just bring the camera around a little bit. There we go. Oh, we're, we're making it. We're doing it. Yes. Are we going to get to the objective? We can do it at last. It's only taken us three episodes to actually do it, but we've done it. We've delivered our load. There we go. Let's turn the diff lock off. Uh, loaded. Four points. Unload! Your truck is not carrying any logs. We've done it! We have actually done it. This is fantastic. How many are we supposed to do? There's like an objective and everything. So, um, objective one. Delivered four of eight. We've got we've to do it again. We've got to go back to a logs. Now... The logs kiosk, if we just go to that one, I think you've got to manually load them. So what we've got to do is we've got to go all the way back over here in order to non-manually load them. But we should be able to do that without too much. We'll keep going along that road and we get to that logs kiosk. There is a new... There's You can use a crane, I believe. You use a crane in order to do it. And the crane loads the logs for you from the kiosk. Uh... No, we want to go back onto this track here. We want to go this way. I think that we shouldn't have too much trouble getting through. Oop, I didn't actually want to do that. What have I done? Uh, how do I change the camera view? Right, I've changed the camera view beyond what I actually wanted to do. And now I don't know how to change it back. Uh, and we're getting hopeless. It's very noisy here, isn't it? And I tell you what, if I if I flick over to another vehicle and then I flick back again, maybe that will reset the um, the camera view. Ah, yes, there we go. Right. I don't know how I I, I play so many games at the moment. Um, it's very easy to sort of lose track. Right. We it would help if we turn the park brake off and if we put the diff lock on. Hopefully. Oh no, we want all wheels on as well. There we go. We bring that round. He should get through the mud heap just fine. Bring it round a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Right, I do want to go onto the map and get rid of that course that we've generated there. Through the mud and the water. Okay, I really like the way that the water's responding. It does behave a little bit like mud, but generally speaking, it's actually pretty good. That's nice and realistic, that is. That is awesome. That is really cool. I like that. 
Okay. Yeah, I am fairly easily impressed. Um, all we really need for this game to be complete is a better camera. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm sure there's one or two people out there that agree with me. Because, I, I mean, this, this will come as a complete shock to you that I don't really like the camera in this game. And I've never mentioned it before. <laughs> okay. Um... So we just need to get down to the bottom of the hill down here and we get to the other logs kiosk. But I'm 99% certain that those are the ones that you've got to manually load. And we don't have a crane on this vehicle. So we're not going to be able to do that. Which means we're going to have to get all the way over to the other side of the map. Load logs over there and then all the way back over here so that we can unload. And... I mean, we, we seem to be cruising along fairly nicely here. I, I haven't seen any sort of turn off I'm, I'm not too concerned I suppose once we get back onto the main track we'll um, well what we'll probably do is we'll end up driving too far we keep the diff lock on for now we do only have 13 litres of fuel and I'm not quite sure where we've got to go in order to fill up I think you just go back to the main yard um, oh no we have 70 litres of fuel we're using 13 litres of fuel per minute because we're using the diff lock and the four wheel drive um, and everything else so we we are gonna need to let's switch diff lock off a minute I'll do that while I'm driving I know it's not the best way to do it right as I'm so certain that you yes you do I can see from from the picture I remember from last time that is the sort that we we had to load manually and we don't have anything that we can do that with so we'd end up taking us far too long so what we'll do is we'll just keep driving through here and go up this way I'm going to need to turn the diff lock on we are running very low on fuel I know that we can get fuel right let's just check the map a minute where can we actually get fuel we've got a garage trailer there I don't think we get fuel we've got a garage up there oh fuel is over here can you get fuel from a garage let's let's just take a look over here more garage points required to access the garage right so you can't access that garage we've got our main garage here and we've got the garage trailer there I would say we just need to keep going. We can... Do we want to turn off here and go all the way around there? That's a very long track going that way. If we come up this far, we can get through here. I know that that bit of the river was like quite... Um, there was a lot of rush in the, in the water there. But I'm hoping that would be okay. It's just on the corner there. That's where we want to go. If I... Oh, no. We don't, we don't want that. We want to go back over to this one. And then click OK. And we'll just go like that. It's, I'm, I'm marking it just so that we know where we've got to go. And let's take the park brake off. We can also turn the all wheels off, and that should save us a little bit of fuel. See, we're down to just five, three or four litres of fuel a minute. I, was, I said five, but it's not. It's, it depends how fast you're going, I guess. Um, generally speaking, though, we'll do okay. We can have the four-wheel drive off, 58 litres of fuel. Once we fill up back at the garage, we should then be okay. We can get over to the um, the point where we fill up with logs and um, load up another load of logs and bring them back over. That's another four points, and that should then we complete uh, the mission on this map. And we can, when we eventually come back to doing this again, because I'm sure it will be voted for eventually, one way or another. Now then, uh, do I, I just well um, go right in here, didn't I? Um, if I just do that, I can delete it altogether. Yes, we want to... I think I want to go on just a little bit further, and I want to go in across here. That's where we came out. You can even see our muddy tracks from last time. And I don't want to do that, because I just piled straight into a tree. That's not the way to behave. And we'll turn the all-wheel drive on. I know I just did it while I'm moving. You really shouldn't do that. I, I do say... I tend to keep doing these things and just keep saying, Oh, I shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. Yeah, um, I am aware that if I was to do this in real life, I would absolutely obliterate the machine that I'm driving um, and probably never be allowed to drive it again either. Um, but, you know, I, I think we're doing okay. Now, this is the bit where we really struggled last time. We almost ended up not being able to continue. Um, and I'm hoping this time we'll be all right because we don't have the weight. I'm hoping that we'll just be able to just inch up through here. It's just ease it over a little bit yeah we, we don't have the weight pressing us into the mud this time we, we we've done that we've done that with ease i'm thinking that though next time when we come back through 
Um, it might actually be easier if we don't come this way. If we go a... Take a slightly different route so that we... Now, do I... You know, I think it'd be better if I just keep the diff lock on. Um, yeah, we take a slightly different route where we go... Um, it's, it's not far up here, actually, the, the place where I'm thinking of. Um, and it branches out. There's two different routes you can take. One is you go this way, and then you go through that um, muddy patch where we almost got stuck. And the other one is more rough track. But I'm hoping that we actually avoid the worst of the mud and stuff. Um, so it's kind of a trade-off between the two. It's, it might take a little bit longer, but I think ultimately it will be worth it. It's, it's right here, actually. We turn If we turn up that way... Where we're turning off now, if we turn, if we just sort of keep going the other way, we should then be okay. At least I think that's uh, that, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping. Right, 34 liters of fuel. I don't think that the garage trailer. I think that's something to do, the one that we got hopelessly stuck in our very first episode because um, we didn't know how to use the winch and everything. I don't think that's anything to do with fuel. I think that's you taking parts to um, open a second garage. So we'll just cruise on past this one. And this is the muddy bit that's really difficult to get through, but I'm hoping we can just keep going. Nice and steady. No rush. Get on through. It's, it's, it is a bit of a muddy patch, but we should be okay. We can inch on past. We just bring... Oh, I dislike this camera. There we go. And if I can just bring it up slightly out of that rut there is a deep rut that's forming underneath where our wheels are going but if I can kind of go sideways a little bit I think we bear to the right here let's just check that one um, yes we do if we go that way if we go left it takes us off the map and it's still muddy-ish I think we might be alright to disengage the diff lock come on round this corner and there's our garage. We've got 23 litres of fuel left. <laughs> so we're, we're cutting it pretty fine. Okay, we'll bring, it's bring in a diff lock. We're going to need it. And I mean, we've done all right. There's a fair tank on this vehicle. So um, we don't need to worry too much about um, drinking the fuel. Get up through to here. And we are safe. We can refuel. Let's just stop there a second. Yes, right, fueled, 182 litres. Why have we only got 200 litres of fuel? Can I take more fuel? Is there a way to do that? Fuel system unavailable. Log car, oh, spare wheel. Oh, that's, re that, I think that like repairs. So if we uninstall that one, can we take the, oh, spare wheel. So how do you get a fuel system? Oh, we don't want to do that anyway. Um, beacons, cabin protection, Default highway wheels. No, we don't want highway. All right, we'll we'll take that. We'll take that one. Got repair. One hundred points. Um. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Let's get moving. And yeah, we can only take two hundred liters of fuel. I thought we could take more than that. Never mind. As we can only take two hundred, we'll obviously be, we'll be coming back through this way anyway. We can um, make sure that we uh, refuel again once we sort of pop through. And that will just see us through, just in case we need to do anything extra. Once we've delivered the eight points, we've got this uh, extra load of cargo that we're getting. This is going to take no time at all, this bit. It's the other It's the other bit of the road that is going to take time. Um, tell you what, as I did this in the very last episode, I will just continue on up the track now. And I will meet you at the sawmill where we can load up again. Here we go. We are at the sawmill. I've just got to remember how... To that, I think, is the one that loads itself. So you could go to the, um, uh, the self-loading kiosks. I think we want to just go up over here. I'm pretty sure there's actually a road that we can take rather than um, crashing through the trees. <laughs> okay, let's not crash through the trees. Let's. Um, okay, we are crashing through the trees. We can get round here. We can do it. We're a big... Butch Soviet truck, we can do anything we want. Look at the power on that thing. <laughs> right. I mean, through here, you've got lumber there. I think you can load from that one, or you can just, if you line it up in the middle of this one over here, you can line up as well. Yeah, it's a logs kiosk, and then you've got the actual lumber point on here. This is the one that we want. You've just got to line up straight, and it should allow you to do it. There we go. So we want to... Um, yeah, position your truck properly. That was the bit that I had trouble with last time. 
Load up medium logs. There we go. It's four points. That's our last bit. And now we just got to turn around and get out of here. Get back across the map and we can deliver. We're getting the hang of this. We are finally, after two episodes of wallowing around in the mud and getting stuck and getting lost, we're finally actually getting the hang of it. We're going to do it. So I'm just keeping the diff lock on. I'm keeping all wheel drive on. We've used 40 litres of fuel to get over here. And we didn't actually drive that far getting over here. But um, it's, yeah, I mean, because we've got the four wheel drive and the diff lock and everything else, it does use the fuel up a little bit. Um, although diff lock doesn't seem to impair your steering very much, which in real life, I mean, it, it kind of does and it doesn't. It depends what vehicle you're using. You can, you can really burn the rubber up if you engage a diff lock. I like it how I like how the camera zooms out like this, um, but it keeps jumping back to like a default position, which is really really annoying and frustrating because I want it to stay out so I get a better view of the vehicle. Um, never mind. If we keep we keep on trucking, we're actually doing. I think we're doing fairly well for time. We I mean I've just had my timer go off to say that we are almost out of time, but I think I think we're doing okay. We ought to be able to get this delivered. Um, and then literally the track now is like this until we get back to the garage where we can stop the fuel so if I run us back to the garage then um, we can sort of see going along the track I'm still debating whether we should go left or right um, further up the road I think we will attempt to go right um, it may end up in us not being able to complete the mission today and we'll have to do it the next time we come back to spin tyres. But I mean, we can worry about that. So I'll see you back at the garage in a minute. There's our garage looming in the distance. Almost there. And then we can refuel for the final stretch. Now, I don't know how you make it so that you can... I'm guessing that there is a way that you can increase the fuel capacity. Because at the moment we get, to, we get 200 out of the 330 litres of fuel that we're allowed. So you just stop like that. Fueled 75 litres. And away you go again. So we got we we did get up to the 200 liters again, but that's as much as it's allowing us to do, which is I'm, I mean yeah I'm, I'm guessing it's like an upgrade that you earn or you unlock through doing something else. I'm not quite sure. Um, there must be a way to do it. Those of you who play this game a lot more than I do, um, let me know. I do. I've had several requests from people that I should start using some mods that are available for this game and yes I do intend to use some mods um, I wasn't going to yet I wanted to try and complete a mission um, with like just doing the vanilla stuff and explore what the game has to offer I like to do that I like to explore what the actual game itself has to offer before I start heavily modifying the content because there are times when if you rush into getting mods installed on um, and like using extras you can miss out on some really cool like base game things that uh, you're just not aware of if you start to really get into mods right from an early point um, now I remember this from last time getting hopelessly stuck in this bit here and pretty sure it took us quite a long time last time but I have a secret weapon I know how to use the winch now so we'll try all this camera is so terrible really don't like the camera okay if I stop there a second now if we go you click and you go advanced and then you go winch how do you use the winch uh, is it space now no oh I know how you do it you, you click select winch source we can winch there now select winch destination and then how to use the winch okay I found it just press F for the winch pull and oh it works really well and I remember from last time using the winch a little bit but this is fantastic right uh, we'll take that one off and if I click round a little bit uh, is the camera okay there I think the camera is okay on there just click again right we wanna we're gonna need to do the winch again so if we click on advanced then you click the start point there and if I got I haven't got any more winch destination let's try that starting engine uh, 
And let's take it off of advanced. Right, I'm starting the engine on the other one. And I think what I'm actually doing is I'm pulling the other vehicle backwards. Which isn't quite part of the master plan. So let's take that one off. And we go to advanced. And I detach it there. And then, like here, I haven't... I can't... Oh, maybe I can get it to that tree. That That is a tree up there, isn't it? So if I um, then click on advanced... Right, I need to make sure that I keep turning the wheel this way because I don't want to hit the vehicle. And then I go like that. Let's turn the camera around. Right, is that tree over in the distance going to be far enough away to now use the winch on it? No, it's not. So I need to... Let me do that. Bring the camera around a little bit. And we go here. I could go to... Yeah, see... That's too close. There's a winch destination over there. This is a this is a bit of a pickle. Right. Take it out of advance and try just creeping forward a little bit. I'm up against that vehicle. I need to I need to back up a little bit. I think that's what I need to. If I can back up just a bit, I can get past that vehicle and I don't need to worry about it. There we go. Right. And now come forward. We can do this. Go on, just go forward a little bit. If you can get past that truck, you should be okay. We should be able to get out of here. It's, good. it's slow, it's slow, it's slow. It's going, it's going. Keep going up this way. Get up, get up out of the mud just slightly. There we go, yes. Go on. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, right, okay, we are. Ooh, what's going on there? Right, we're out of the mud. We've done it. So we did use the winch to get us through a little bit, but mostly we didn't use the winch. And we really have run out of time. I spent far too long doing that. So we will finish this off next time. We've got a new bit of track to explore. We're going to go right here instead of the usual left that we did last time, um, which would seem to be the smartest route I'm going left. But then you've got that river. So we're going to try going this way so that we don't have to go across the river and we're already getting hopelessly stuck. Now remember, my weekly question for this week is, do you want, well, which game do you want me to play? This is going to be like a, a weekly Thursday question, is which game do you want me to play next? Do you want me to play, ooh, it's doing it. It's getting up through there really nicely. Uh, do you want me to, yeah, so which game do you want me to play this time next week? I don't give the option for the game we're playing this week, so we can change it up a bit each time. So, is it Factorio? Is it Forza Horizons? Is it Don't Starve? Is it Big Farmer? Or is it Skyrim? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And, yes, there is currently an issue with YouTube where people are not able to vote properly. It's not. It doesn't seem to register. I think it is actually registering your vote. It's just that you can't see the result on it. Um, it's behaving in a very peculiar fashion, but don't worry. It's not just the videos. It's not just you. There's a lot of people having the same issue at the moment. Um, it's a YouTube thing. Hopefully they will roll out a fix for it very soon. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.